in today's lecture we're going to be talking about refetch on window focus in react query so we have this another configuration that we're going to be that we are going to be talking about in the use query hook of react query before we dive into the lecture please make sure to watch the previous lectures on react query in order to follow along let's just dive into the lecture so from the previous lecture you can see that we have we've been dealing or we've been using the refetch on mount now we're going to be talking about another configuration that's basically called refetch on window focus it also takes three values that's basically true or false or so it basically takes these three values so we will just go through them one by one so when i set this refetch on window focus to true and i head to the I'll clear the console. I'll just head to the home page for now. I'll clear the console over here. So now we have clean application. We don't have anything in the developer tools as well. So when I head to the users, you can see that an API call is made and now we have the data that is basically in the style form now, not in fresh. But when I click on this window or within the document, you would, you would see that another call will be made and the, um, the data will be refreshed. So when I click in the, inside the window, you can see another call is made. When I'm outside the the window, for example, I am outside this document and then I bring my mouse again, click on the document, you can see that um, the user's API is called again. When I click outside and then click inside the document, you can see another call is made. So that is basically what we call refetch and window focus. So it will always refetch the new data based on uh, on clicking or you know focusing on the main window or main, com main component. There is one other thing that we need to keep in mind basically is it's about the stale data. So when the refetch on window focus is basically set to true, it means that when the data is in the stale form, then make the call to the user API. Otherwise, we will not be making any call to the user's API. So let's just put a stale flag over here, the stale time flag over here, and I'll set it to, for example, 15,000 seconds, or I'll just set it to 10,000 uh, 10, milliseconds, and I'll save it. I'll refresh the page. You can see one call is made. Now that it is in fresh form, when I click outside and then click inside, nothing happens. So I'll just keep clicking and nothing will happen because uh, the data was in the fresh form. Now when the data is in the stale form and I click outside and then inside, you can see that the call is made. Again, the data is now in the fresh form. And when I click outside or somewhere outside and then click in the window, uh, so it won't um, refresh the data on the focus. And now you, just, you can see that the data is in the stale form. When I click it outside and then inside, you can see another call is made and the data will be refreshed. So that is basically what refetch on window focus does when the value is set to true. What happens now when we have the refetch on window set to false and I'll get rid of the stale data, stale time. So when I refresh, I'll refresh the page and I'll just, you can see that I am clicking outside and inside. So regardless of data being in stale form or in the fresh form, I it won't be making any calls to the API. So it will just stay in the whatever state it is. So most of the time we want something like this, or sometimes we want to, you know, refresh the data on focus. It basically depends on the use case or whatever the, our use case is. So when I set it to always here, so Basically, what it does is, um, let's say that when, when I click outside and then click inside, you can see that the call is made. So it will always make call when I click inside, outside and then inside of the window. So it will always make the call to the API. So the only difference between the true value and the always value of the refetch on window focus property is that uh, regardless of data being in the stale form or in the fresh form, it will always make the call to the API. So let's put um, the stale flag again. So stale time, and I'll just put it 1000. It's basically 10 seconds. So when I put it here, you can see that it is now in fresh form. When I click outside and then click inside, the, the call is still made. When I click outside and then click inside, then the call is still made. So this is basically the the difference between the true value and the always. So regardless of the data being in the fresh form or even in the stale form, the always flag will um, always call the API. Uh, and if the refetch on window focus is set to true, then it will just look into the data. If it is in the stale form, it will 
refetch the data on forecast. Otherwise, it will not many it will not make any calls to the to the API endpoint. That is the basic difference between always and the true value. So that is all about refetch on window focus. And I hope that you have learned something new in this video. Please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure to press the bell icon for future updates. And until then, I'll see you in the next lecture.